I like the vacuum bags that I have to cut myself. The reason being is I can control the size of the bag. I think we're probably going to go with about 11 or 12 inch bags. It sounds big, but you have to have a seam at the top and a seam at the bottom so that uh, you can seal the bag. Since the bags are not bags and just a tube, we're going to seal one end. And why is that wobbly? It's wobbly because the cord that There's a couple of different settings that you can use for sealing. One, you just seal it. Two, you seal it as if it were moist. So if your meat is moist and juicy, you're going to use a different setting. Sometimes that moist and juicy setting has a tendency to leave a little too much air in the bag for me. I'm going to use the dry setting. We're going to lock it and we're going to hit auto back. We're going to test this first seal because if we find that it sucked up too much juice out of the meat and um, it didn't seal the bag, we may have to go to the juicy setting. Yes, the bag is not sealed. There is a straight, straight line through there. But right here, from this point to this point, right there, I don't know if you can see that or not, but from this point to this point, there's water leakage or air leakage. So, let's go ahead and put this back in. At this time, we're going to change it to moist, and we're going to auto back. The moist just doesn't pull as much air out of it, bringing all the juice with it. We may have to try several times. Um, the other day, I had to cut the bag a couple of times to get it because I just had it too wet. Another thing I can do with the pork chops is I can lay them out on a, a gauze cloth and let them drain. Okay. This is so not sealed that there's moisture in the tray. You see that? It's designed to catch moisture, but that moisture will also prevent it from sealing properly. So we're going to need to clean this out, cut this off, and get rid of some of the moisture in these um, pork chops. We're going to take the pork chop out and lay it on a fabric. It doesn't have to be bone dry. See, just, just a little padding. We're just getting all that water off from me washing it. Alright, we've rinsed our bag and we're just going to dry it as much as we can so that we can get a nice dry seal. Pork chop number one, pork chop number two, and all of that. Did not seal on this side again. And again, we've got moisture back in that little uh, crack. We're gonna try this one more time using the seal that we okay so don't ever assume the first time is going to work you can see the air bubbles moving around 
wait, be patient. Now that the seal light is off and all those lights are off, it's ready to open. And again, we are not sealed. see the bubbles clear where it's pulling the moisture out. It's definitely vacuuming. It's just not sealing. Oh wait. Yeah, the last problem I had with it, it wasn't vacuuming and that was because of the seal. This time it's not sealing. So it's got to be another problem. I believe it's the bag. We'll come, come back, back to, to that, that later. I'm trying to think. See, the seal works all the way across. So the sealer works, the vacuum works. The bag did not seal. Probably too much moisture in the bag. Okay, this bag is predominantly very dry. It's got some relatively dry meat in it. So let's just see what happens here. And our seal is perfect all the way across. So the bag from the first attempt was just too wet. Again, perfect seal. Air tight. Air removed. Happy meat. Okay, our problem has been solved. Get in this way, but it's gonna get in there. Yep, yep. It's, it's gonna, gonna get in there. We sealed. We're sealed. This is cut too small. It's sealed. Always check your seals. Don't 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 ever take anything for granted. I guess having it frozen like this does make it easier to handle. I think I can get it in there. And I'm just trying to seal this. You can tell where this wrinkle right there is our culprit. This wrinkle right here lets the air in. So I went ahead and cut it across and I have another wrinkle there. It's sealed but not to my liking. Gosh, here I am talking about how much I waste these bags because they are expensive. Let that be a lesson. If your situation is not a successful situation, then it's a learning situation. Okay, that's a good seal. The wrinkles in the bags are your enemy. Moisture in the seal line is your enemy. That bag was close to the end of the roll, so it had a hard wrinkle in it. And that hard wrinkle caused me some hell. Sometimes I think I need to raise this up. A lot of wrinkling there. I need to get this up closer to the height. Only because the bag is small. down work there's that wrinkle again at the end of the bag Let's 
seals slight wrinkle right there. How you, you can tell if it's sealed if your air is coming back into the bag. That vacuumed out all the vacuum air, but look how the bag has got a little bit more air coming back into it. You see that? And this corner here has a lot of moisture in it. So that moisture was trying to come out that wrinkle there. And that wrinkle stopped it from sealing flat. We're going to try this one more time. And if that doesn't knock that wrinkle out. You see it pulling the air now? So that means that that bag was not sealed. So uh, we aired out. It, uh, it aired out. That little bitty tiny hole right there sucked enough air to make this bag tight but as soon as you take it away and the sucking stops the bag gets loose again so guess what we have to do yeah have to just discard the bag completely start with a fresh clean bag what's the cost of this plastic bag compared to the loss and freezer burnt red eye steak it's minimal so just start with a brand new bag. The things that will compromise your bag is number one, wrinkle, and then uh, moisture. Anything that stops the seal. And you can see that if that seal is broken, look at the air pockets that come back. All these air pockets have come back in this bag here. You see that? That's air. Here's one that's sealed. You see that? Look how tight that is next to the meat. You want that real tight next to your meat. Add something else to your list of enemies of these bags, and that's the bones. If you have a really sharp bone or something that's cut with a piercing point, you can compromise your bag. These have bones in them, but they're not going to cut the bag. Now look at that. Look how tight. Look how tight that is against the meat. That meat is happy in there. I'm wrapping things up right now. I hope this helped you in getting yourself prepared to take care of your meat.